Welcome to the eighth lesson of uh, Pivot Table uh, course. In this lesson, we are going to uh, get to know the calculate field. So the ability to create your own calculations or your own measures, your own KPIs on top of a pivot table. Uh, you might need it for two reasons. Uh, first, maybe you don't want to add a column to your table, but the second exercise we will see uh, is something you couldn't calculate uh, just on a row uh, level of your table. You need to uh, create aggregation on top of a pivot table. Let's create a pivot table to uh, quickly see what uh, calculated fields are about. And our task is to create gross sales measure, uh, which is sales multiplied by a VAT rate, uh, like for example, 1.23. So we will analyze the data by region. We will place sales in the pivot table, format it nicely, and right now I would like to multiply the sum of sales by 1.23. I could actually go to my table and because this is just a simple calculation, I could create a calculation in here. Let's take the sales value and multiply it by 1.23. And this is uh, my gross sales. This is like uh, the first solution that I'm just showing without touching the uh, calculated fields. And once I refresh it, I can add in here gross sales, which is uh, my calculation. But the other way how you can do it is just create a calculation on top of your pivot table. And to do so, you need to go to the Analyze tab, then find the Fields, Items and Sets group of operation and find the calculated field in here. What do you do? You give the name to your calculation. I will call it gross sales number two because I've already created a column like this. Then you go to the formula and using the fields you have in here, you might double click them like sales. You create the formula like sales multiplied by 123. This is of course just an example of what is possible in the next exercises. We will see more uh, options in here. I'm adding this to my fields. You can see right now gross sales number two. And after hitting OK, this gross sales is going to appear in my pivot table. What is really interesting, this kind of uh, calculation doesn't allow you to change the summarize values by option. Uh, why is that? Because the only available calculation inside of uh, uh, calculated field is the summing calculation. You cannot count, you cannot uh, find the mean max. Uh, it is possible uh, to do so for the pivot tables, but including power pivot and the uh, uh, DAX language, the data modeling feature, this is uh, all I'm talking about in a separate course for Power Pivot and Power BI data modeling and DAX language, but normal standard pivot table uh, allows you to create the calculated field, but the only aggregation in there is the summing uh, calculation. What is more, you can always go to the calculated field and find your calculations by uh, using the dropdown and checking what is the formula below. So uh, you can always modify this, delete this, uh, and this is actually the place where you can find the list of all of your um, calculated fields, or as I call them usually, the measures. Within this exercise, we could uh, do uh, this calculation on two, in two ways. But in the next exercise, the only way to create the calculation is going to be calculated field.